what we're doing is we're just polishing the edge and we're not trying to change the geometry of it. Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to episode 202 of the Guitar Builders Basics video podcast, Luthier's Tips, Tricks and Training from me, Ben Crow at Crimson Guitars in the UK. All right, today's question and slight demo is from uh, Joe Dove. No, the demo's from me. Ha! The question is from Joe Dove uh, on YouTube. He says, um, should a plain blade be stropped? There are many knowledgeable people on both sides of the fence. Is it a personal preference or a steadfast rule? Uh, okay, so this is to do with sharpening. Uh, the real question should be, do you want your tool to be as sharp as humanly possible in as quick of a time as possible or not? If not, I need to question your sanity. Uh, okay, so Sharpening is a dark art, and there are many different methods. I've done a series, uh, a sharpening masterclass series, and I did this probably three years ago now. I need to, I need to stop looking at the clock when I'm trying to find the date because there aren't any dates on that clock. I'm probably going to redo that series at some point. Now, you people have techniques that they love that I loathe and vice versa, but the end result and the plan is you want your tool, whatever it needs, whatever it is, to be as sharp as humanly possible, okay? It is two, two flat planes meeting at a point as fine as humanly possible with as, as little abrasion as possible, and uh, strops are to my mind, one of the best ways to do that. So this here is a, a chisel. I've been using this chisel uh, for the last week. I haven't sharpened it on a wet stone for a while. It's, you know, it's sharp, but it could be sharper. Plane blade, same thing. I've been using this lovely little plane for, for, a, for a couple of weeks and uh, you know, it's not quite as sharp as it, as it should be. Now, if I wanted to, you've got a, a sharpness uh, graph. We're as sharp as we possibly can be. And as you use it, it goes down, it goes down, it goes down. And about halfway down, I get a strop. Well, several times an hour as I'm using a tool, I will get my strop and I'll just go dum, 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 dum return an edge, and it takes it straight back up to the top of the graph. If you are going to have to spend at least five minutes on your sharpening stones, you're going to let your plane or your chisel go <laughs> as, as long as you possibly can until you're physically having to push this tool through the wood. And this is one where mistakes happen, two where injuries happen. Talk to any chef. Uh, worth their salt and they will say that the knives have to be as sharp as humanly possible because if you if you are forcing the knife through uh, the meat or, or whatever you're cutting that's when things slip and you end up chopping a finger off same thing with guitar building same thing with fine furniture making if you are having to force the tool any tool this this uh, applies as much to router cutters and mortars and tennis mortis, mortises Mortars and tennis, tenon machines, we don't have them. Uh, I don't even know what that is, what am I talking about? So if you have to force the tool through the wood, you're likely to slip, you're likely to go too far, you're likely to damage something and have to start again, and that sucks. So yes, in answer to your question, a strop is absolutely 100% to be used on planes, plane blades and chisels, I was just wondering there about polishing the bottom of my uh, metal soles. Uh. <laughs> In all seriousness, that's not that bad of an idea. Um, you know that you want a flat sole on the bottom of your plane. Uh, if it's nice and polished, i.e. on a strop, then uh, that will give you a smoother action. Some people use 
beeswax. I'm pointing at things off camera today that you don't know about. In that drawer there, the third one down on the left, your left, there is some beeswax. People put that on the bottom of soles and it, it helps the plane smoothly glide over your work. So, uh, well, there we go. Uh, anyway, let's, let's, get, let's get filming, come on. I have many straps, but for the purpose of this one, I've got a, a bigger one. Uh, this leather is a little bit thick. I think thinner leather is better, but the smoother is, smoother is good. Uh, now, on my straps, I, I've played with diamond paste, I've played with diamond grit, I've played with carborundum powder, etc. And the diamond is really good, but to be frank, Autosol chrome polish or metal polish is really good stuff. So here's the bottom of this plane. Um, hold on. Just, just, just for fun. I could probably uh, do with leveling that off a little bit, actually. So there we go. That's immediately <laughs> actually going to. Uh, going to work better. Now you can see I've been using this, this is a vintage vintage blade, and you can see there the scratch marks, and that means that I've actually got a burr, a slight burr turned up on that, which is, uh, which is not good. Yeah, I might need to go to a stone for that one. That's a pity. Yeah, so this is a, a plane that's relatively new to me. Uh, I think this blade needs to be re-tempered and hardened a bit. So, uh, so we'll move on to uh, that. That explains why it, uh, it's lost its edge quite so rapidly. Now, this, however, is a, is a chisel. It's, hold on, where's some paper? So we're cutting, but it's, it's hard work, okay? Because, and that's the trick. Use your strop when you are still sharp. You haven't got chips and issues with your, uh, actual edge. You just want to take it back. Now, one of the problems with using strops is if the material is thick like this, you have to be careful. Your blade, you can round the edge over to a certain extent, and that isn't, that isn't good. What we're doing is we're just polishing the edge, and we're not trying to change the geometry of it. So that there is better. Hold on, we're going through two pieces of paper there, which is kind of kind of cheating. Ah! There we go. So that's that's getting there. Still, still not 100%. Now, I'm not pushing, I'm not putting pressure on. Again, that's where you cause issues. I don't like this one, it's, uh, it moves. Uh, my other strops have uh, nails in the bottom. And they're not two-sided. So what we're doing is we're turning a burr over. And this works as well on knives in fact, if you use uh, scalpel blades, you can take a scalpel blade out of the packet and actually make it sharper. Okay, so what I'm doing, I just did that three times, three times, two times, two, one. And then we're good. Now the edge of this looks 
I mean, look at that. That's pretty. Well, it's pretty. It's also pretty sharp. So. And that's with very little work. If I wanted to, I could go a little bit crazy. This one doesn't have this bit of leather now. doesn't have any compound on it at all. And we're turning a micro burr over, possibly. Where are we? Oh, oh. <laughs> that was half torn piece of paper. So it is It is done. Danger of rolling the edge over. So uh, choose your strop carefully. Nice, thin, hard uh, leather, and, uh, and it does the job well. So uh, I hope that has been of use. Knives, plain blades, chisels, etc. You are taking an already sharp blade and making it sharper. And the sharper, the better. Thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Please consider supporting our Patreon where I answer uh, another, well, other questions like this every week as well. And, uh, and there are many other things going on there as well. Please also ask questions below. I need questions. I need fodder for the mill. But uh, thank you for being amazing. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And uh, I, will, I will see you, see you next time. Goodbye. Ah. <sighs> now I need to see how hard or soft this little plane blade actually is. As I suspected, file, and I'm actually managing to file marks into the edge. This thing needs to be uh, hardened and tempered. Somebody asked me how to harden and temper a plane blade below. Maybe I'll try and figure it out and then uh, do a video about it. <laughs> Have a good one. I'll see you soon.